Hi, Mineral Rolls Junior High faculty and staff. This is Diane Aldridge here to help you um, learn how to edit, begin editing your home page and put some basic information there, your school point page. Uh, Dr. Atarius has challenged us to have some basic information on our home page by Wednesday, August the 21st. And I understand there's going to be some kind of prizes involved there um, and things like that. Uh, and Ms. Wilkerson wants us to meet that challenge. And so I'm going to try to show you how to just uh, put a little basic information in. So I'm going to go to our um, school point site, um, mineralsisd.net is the full link. That's kind of just the way I go there. Um, and here we are. Now, why do we need information on our, um, on our page? I'm going, to, I'm going to show you mine as I'm doing this. The reason is because when parents of the community go to look for your page and there's nothing there, um, it really looks bad. It looks like we don't care about the site, that we are not thorough, that we don't provide information. And so it's important that, that we have at least something on the page. Um, I'm going to show you mine here real quick. Now mine you know, has a little bit more to it. You don't need to add all that at this point, uh, but, but you will uh, want to want to make it useful to the audience. Um, on mine here, I have to, you need to go down here to click to view online classroom. And when you do that, you're going to go to your home page. This is your first page. And so this is mine, and I have a picture of myself. I have a little introduction here. Um, I also have my Twitter account up. Uh, and these divisionary lines are helpful just to kind of um, space things out. I have a teaching philosophy, um, and then I have some who am I, my teaching background. Bi biographical information is basically what it is. Um, and so you can link things up. I have a link here to my About Me page, um, which of course, you know, this is all something down the road that you can do. But this is just this is just available to you. So, what I want to show you though is just how to do a basic home page. And to do that, um, I'm going to scroll all the way down, and I'm going to do my CMS login. You can't edit anything uh, until you do a CMS login. And I'm going to use good old Jeff Grumfield's login because uh, this is a, a teacher account that has not been created yet. Jeff had a hernia operation recently, and um, I'm going to help him out by creating a little basic page for him. He's, he's still not quite himself, and so I'm going to use his, his account. Um, this is the basic teacher account and how it would look, and notice on the left there is the online classroom, and so you're going to want to click there, and you're going to want to go in and edit your home page. Here it is. So there's two broad sections. The first is this upper section up here that you can put general information about what you do. And then down here is where you can add to that and you can be more detailed with biographical information like that. So for example, if you want to add an image, you can add an image. Um, you may recall in a previous video that I had a picture of Jeff that was uh, available to me. And I'm going to grab that real quick. Remember these pictures have to be saved somewhere uh, that you have access to. Uh, before you can upload them to the school point website that's what i'm doing here is actually sending it up to the cloud to the school point server wherever that may be and so there's this picture which is nice now you can also edit the teacher contact information which is kind of what this is and so he could put for example just jeff brumfield um and it could be a uh, uh, eighth grade science teacher um girls volleyball coach. Now, Dr. Heterius, when we were at a meeting last week, what the, well, what she, through her new technology director, Greg Bird, want us to do is to just have some basic information, such as your name, a picture, biographical information, the subjects you teach, and your conference. So by changing this, um, you know, remember you can change any kind of font you want, make it in any way you want change your size, you can center things if you like them centered, you can click this button here to center them, uh, you can bold if you want your name bold, you can, you can scroll up here and make it bold, you could make it bigger just to make it stand out a little bit since it's your name, um, and you can also change the color. Be sure to select any text that you want to change, um, and I could, I could make it red if I wanted to, and you'll see it red, you can even make fills if you want you can have a fill color for it like that. So um, he might want that black because he's, he's a Ram. He's a Ram coach, so you could have it something like that. Um, so that's just an idea, and I'm not going to take the time to, to make it pretty. Uh, number one, because I'm not good at that kind of thing, and number two, because you uh, can work on that on your own. 
So I'm just going to save that teacher description and you can see that right there. Um, when you come down to this area, this may be where you might want to put um, your biography information. So you might want to say something like uh, bio uh, and then you would type um, anything that you wanted to type. I'm not going to take the time to create a bio, and, but you, you understand the purpose. And if you wanted to as well, um, you, could, you could hit your enter key a few times. You could add a uh, divisionary line, which is this right here, this, this icon, and then you could add a difference. So he may want to say, he may want to talk about volleyball. So he may want to uh, put in a picture. And when you insert a picture down in this area, make sure your cursor is blinking where you want that picture to actually go. And when you click on the picture uh, tool, uh, this box will come up. And this is kind of, you have to get a little used to this. But first thing you want to do is you want to upload the picture. So let's say, uh, and again, you have to have this saved somewhere. This picture actually saved somewhere. Let's say that I want to use a, a, a volleyball because I'm he's a volleyball coach. So here you can organize your pictures in uh, folders. Be careful with that because if you make a folder and then move a picture into it after you've posted that picture, that picture will no longer be available where it was posted and you'll have to repost it. Um, I'm going to click the upload button. I'm going to go to my desktop and it just so happens that I have a volleyball uh, on this screen that I saved somewhere. Uh, oh, a volleyball. Here we go. Volleyball picture. Here we go. Okay. So it uploads the picture to the school point server. Here it is. And if I double click it again, it's going to insert it uh, into this window here where you work with it. Now, you, to change the size, it depends on what browser you're using. Um, if you're in Chrome, you have to actually mess with these numbers over here and make it the size that you want. I'm going to pop it down to 200. Notice it automatically adjusted the height, which is very nice. Um, in Internet Explorer, I believe you get sizing handles, so you can, you can drag them uh, to where you want. Um, also, uh, this alignment can be crucial. If, if for example, I want to put text next to the picture, uh, then I have to set it to either left or right alignment to allow that text to appear right next to that object. So I'm going to click on left and I'm going to click OK. Notice that it, it input the picture. And my cursor is blinking above it, but if I hit my Enter key, it's going to move it. You might see it right there blinking. Um, and you can use your space bar if you want to move it out, but you may, you may want to type something there. Um, I love to coach volleyball and whatever else it is you want to put. Um, and again, you can format this text in any way you want using the tools that you see above. Um, and so that's, that's basic. Now, also another thing that uh, they asked us to include is the conference times. Um, you might want to put that up in this area, and if you do, then you want to come down and you want to save this page. Uh, I would save and save often. When you get something looking the way that you like it, like the biography section, it looks pretty good, then you want to hit the save button. When you get the picture uh, input, if you do that, and, and if you have some, something text there, save. Hit that save all the time because then uh, you'll know it'll be okay. Um, now, on this page, unlike the previous video where I showed you your staff profile, you can view the live site. There's a link right on this page. Um, and so you can actually click there. It will open up a new tab in your browser, uh, and then it will show you what that looks like. And you'll see it. And you can leave that tab open if you want and just go back to your editing screen um, and make changes. So if I want to edit the contact information, um, and let's say, for example, I want to add the conference times. So conference, um, might want to put, I'm not sure, I'm just going to make it up for right now, uh, 9.30 to 10.30, let's say. And you can save that teacher description, and there it is. Now, how do you see it live again? Well, you can click this button again. It will open another tab, and before you know it, you'll have a lot of tabs open. Or you can just click this one that's already open, and it's live and hit the refresh button and that's a great way to do some tab control where you don't open up so many different tabs. Um, so there's the conference time that's listed. So once again the challenge is that you'll post your name, uh, a picture of some kind, uh, biographical information of some kind, uh, the subjects that you teach, um, and the conference period that you have. And you can do that, you can arrange that in whatever way that you'd like. So let's meet the challenge. Let's make sure we get that done by Wednesday, um, August 21st, and uh, uh, do Minerals Junior High proud. I hope you found this uh, screencast helpful.